Hello everyone and hello again YouTube. This is once again Mia with EOS Marketplace News and I'm back with another article about blockchain featured in our website at preferredcurrency.news. But before we start, just a quick reminder that we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding the information we provide for you to make decisions for yourself. Now, this channel, um, EOS Marketplace News, and our website, preferredcurrency.news, is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. All right, so let's go to the second article featured for today. It is about Middle East's first central bank-backed crypto exchange to launch in 2019. Okay, so um, let's go and um, let's go to the content. And again, please bear with me while the page is loading. All right. Okay, so we have here, um, according to the article, two blockchain veterans are gearing up to launch what could be the first cryptocurrency exchange in the Persian Gulf to be licensed by a central part. Now revealed yesterday to Coindesk, Rain Financial has opened its public waiting list after a year in the central bank of Bahrain's FinTech sandbox. Co-founded by Saudi blockchain consultant Abdullah al muwakkal and Egyptian investor turned up organizer Yehaya Badawi, along with their business partners Joseph Pelago and AJ Nielsen, Rain aimed to offer both a brokerage for retail crypto investors and an institutional platform along the lines of Coinbase Pro in Silicon Valley. Although at least five other exchanges are also involved with the Bahrain Sandbox, a regulatory program where applicants experiment in a closely supervised environment before graduating to full-fledged licensed businesses. Rain was the first to join in September 2017 and expects to launch in early 2019. Quoting, what is unique about Rain is they are the most advanced and the closest to graduating. End quote. Khalid Saad, CEO of Bahrain Fintech Bay, a non-profit co-working space for local startups, told Coindesk. He added, quoting, there is no cryptocurrency exchange in the region that is officially regulated. Hopefully, Rain will be the first one, end quote. Such an entity could convincingly encourage new capital flows in the crypto ecosystem from a part of the world rich in natural resources like oil and gas. As it stands, few Persian Gulf residents officially participate in the crypto markets, partly for the fear of the sector's shadowy reputation. Although Dubai has notably been a pioneer of smart city applications of blockchain technology. Crypto curious investors, quote, are waiting for the right regulations to be in place and the right partners, end quote, Rain co founder Badawi said. Quoting, we are here to fill this demand with institutional grade infrastructure, end quote. Intrigued by the potential of this largely untapped market, Crypto veterans such as Cumberland mining founder Mike Komarensky, Bitcoin coin core developer Jimmy Song, and BRD crypto wallet co-founder Aaron Lasher have all invested in the Bahrain-based startup. The Rain will not disclose how much it has raised. Further, Rain has tapped Joseph Delago, an alumnus of the crypto wallet startup. Abra to be its CEO. Uphill battle. 
To be sure, the Dubai-based incumbent BitOasis has been facilitating Bitcoin purchases since 2015 and also a participant in the Bahrain Sandbox. But while BitOasis, which did not respond to several requests for comment, has focused on building an active user base among retail investors. The RAIN founders have been meeting with institutional players throughout the region for bankers or from bankers to regulators seeking their support. They face an uphill battle. Quality regulators have essentially banned institutional traders from working in cryptocurrencies. Meanwhile, the Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority asserted in August 2018 that no parties or individuals are licensed to trade Bitcoin in the kingdom. Quoting, the primary concerns with the regulators in Saudi Arabia is with unregistered entities. End quote. Rainer al Makwal told Coindesk. Quoting, some of the regulators are not aware that Bitcoin payments are not really anonymous and there are ways to track these. End quote. Now, after months of educating regulators about the Know Your Customer and anti-money laundering standards applied by Western exchanges, which it plans to follow, Rain says it has secured banking partners to allow flat on ramps in all the local Gulf currencies. Quoting, it's been a long journey educating our different regulators and partners, Badawi said. But... Rain has also been fortunate in that Bahrain is a really advanced and progressive regulator in the region, Al Muakal said. And Sandbox Environment allowed the company to show the Central Bank of Bahrain how it would operate while limiting the damage should something go wrong. Quoting, whatever goes into a sandbox is designed to be small enough to fail. So that if it doesn't work out there, it's is remediation available. End quote. Noted Joseph Collins, a partner at the advisory firm FS Sac Vector in Washington, DC, and former head of policy and government affairs at Coinbase. Aside from giving startups a safe space to work with regulators, Collins Colin said Sandbox programs around the world are creating regulatory bridges across jurisdictions such as the cooperation between the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission and the U.K. Financial Conduct Authority. Quoting, that's another added benefit, especially for crypto exchanges, Collins told Coindesk. If you are able to be in a sandbox but interacting with any number of different regions at the same time, that is a uniquely good fit for a crypto product. Pent up demand. Across the Gulf, crypto adoption has been slow to take root compared to Middle Eastern countries like Turkey and Israel. Yet, Rain Leo de Lago told Coindesk people in the Gulf are often value universal assets such as precious metals for more than retail investors in Western markets. Now, here in addition, um, quoting, we feel like the regional taste really match up with the characteristics of Bitcoin and quote Delago said. There is a lot of pent up demand in the really in the region. Further, Almakul said the remittance is a huge use case here. The region has a high population of foreign workers. Indeed, immigrants and expats report they make up more than half the population of the Gulf countries except Saudi Arabia. Still, it's hard to say how much demand there really is given the precarious military climate. The peer-to-peer -peer exchange, local bitcoins facilitated just $266,634 worth of Saudi bitcoin trades the second week of September. Williams come to neighboring countries like the United Arab Emirates. 
This is a pittance in contrast to places like Argentina, which saw $6.9 million worth of local Bitcoin transactions the same week. On the other hand, many believe that broader education in the Gulf could tip the scale. So Rain's co-founders are organizing dozens of local Bitcoin meetups from Kuwait to Saudi Arabia including an event at the Bahrain Fintech Bay headquarters that attracted around 50 participants in July. Quoting, the point of these meetups is to educate people in the region about the benefits of digital currency. Al Makwal said, concluding, it is our duty to counterbalance all the negative news about cryptocurrency scams. Okay, so that's it for another featured article here in our website now this information is presented for a news review and educational entertainment regarding blockchain <clears throat> now also you can get alerts from a, or rather about your eos transactions simply by going to the website at eosauthority.com where here you can get alerts for transactions on your account um, about incoming and going transfers, exchanges or changes or additions to the keys, airdrops sent to the account, actions authorized by the account, or any ECAF arbitration notices. And so we have vacation rentals, um, real estates, both or services available in exchange for EOS. You can visit our website at preferred or eosmarketplace.news where you will see a sheet here that would um, contain the information regarding items or properties that are for sale or for rent in exchange for EOS. So if any one of you would like to post your items here in exchange for EOS, you can freely do that simply by going to the website. Um, it's very accessible, you don't need to um, subscribe for anything or you don't have to uh, make any membership um, registrations it's absolutely free for everyone all right and also we have news view now the publisher of preferred currency dot news Donald the guru would like to connect to you personally you can call Donald through his phone number at one eight zero one six zero one eight one zero five or you can call his WhatsApp at 1801-471-6939. And you can also contact Donald through his Skype at Donald.fcda. Or you can follow him at Twitter at Preferred Crypto. And also if you have Telegram, you can um, contact him there through Preferred Crypto News. And also, um, you can become an affiliate and earn your um, crypto each month. You can invest your time in our program and you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep. Simply enroll the affiliate program located here in the top right corner of our website. Okay, Just here. And you will, um, or you can earn your crypto each month. And also, if you want to, um have um regular updates or newsletter uh, directly sent to your email a day ahead before our broadcast here on youtube you can absolutely do that by going to the website and subscribing using your preferred method you can use paypal for monthly recurring 15 dollars per month you just use or you just click uh click here to transact or your coinbase option for only 180 dollars per year using your preferred cryptocurrency all right so that's it for the latest updates on blockchain which is featured here on our website at preferredcurrency.news now don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel so that you can have daily updates once again, this is Mia, your daily broadcaster, and we'll see you again later for another featured article. All right, so stay tuned. Take care.